All right. So again, we got I got some um, and again, it's it's never perfect, but this this play right here is gonna be a um uh, a pin and pull play. Uh I kind of went round and round because this is I think some people would put it in gap schemes and some people would put it in outside zone schemes. It's kind of a marriage. Uh, but in my mind, this is a schemed up way to run outside zone. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of give you this tip. But as soon as we put back offset away from the tight end, pretty much everybody was thinking inside zone. So we wanted that. That's why we're handing the ball off like that, because we wanted to give the inside zone presentation. Um, but we're, we're running the pin and pull play with the center uh, pulling plus a guard or a tackle based on the alignment. We got a B-gap player here, so we're doing what we call a tug block, tackle down, guard pull. All right, in this case, the, the guard, I'm just going to make this super simple. The first puller has the first defender outside the box, and the center is pulling for the first defender in the box. On the backside, if there is no defender, we can lock the backside. If there was a linebacker in the box, they would be being that on the backside. So you see that? We got the tug block. Guard has the first guy outside the box. Center has the first guy inside the box. Uh, I used to on this center block pulling around. I always I said you must cut, but they they've kind of got to crack down on the cutting rules. So I, I got away from that. But uh, I do like cutting the leverage of that front side linebacker with the center if if you can get your eyes in front of them. But again, we put this in the outside zone world, um, but we we called it something with a P. Uh, just to let them know it was a pin and pull. It was a schemed up outside zone. But we also had to tag the back because normally the back would be on the other side to try to give this inside zone presentation. All right, here it is again, same play. Again, this is too high. We don't have a, we don't have a hat for the safety here because we're pulling for the corner and 30. This is really good one by three, tight end of the boundary play, especially if they're going to play one high. Uh, and uh, But right here, we're getting the guard. We got a three technique, so we're getting the tackle blocking down. The guard has the first defender outside the box. Center has the first defender inside the box. Again, on the backside, because we're in trips, we're locking the backside. There's no backer in there. 